Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video, you should be able to describe what's meant by excretion giving examples. These include carbon dioxide, nitrogenous waste products and biopigments. Now, a key idea you need to understand is that literally thousands of chemical reactions take place in our body. Scientists call these reactions metabolic processes or metabolism. And many of the molecules that are produced in metabolism are toxic. So it's important that the waste products of metabolism are removed from the body. And the removal of the waste products of metabolism from the body is called excretion. And that's a definition that you need to learn. Now, there are three examples of excretion that you need to know. The first example is the gas carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is a waste product made when our cells release energy during aerobic respiration. Carbon dioxide produced by cells is transported in the bloodstream to the lungs. The carbon dioxide is then excreted from the lungs when we exhale. Now another example of a molecule that's excreted in mammals is urea, which I'm showing you here. Urea is produced in the liver during the breakdown of excess amino acids, and we'll be looking at that in a later video. The urea produced in the liver enters the bloodstream. When the blood passes through the kidneys, the urea is removed from the blood and excreted via urine. Now urea is an example of a nitrogenous waste product. Nitrogenous waste products are molecules used by the body to eliminate excess nitrogen. And we can see the two nitrogen atoms in urea here. So as we've seen, urea is a nitrogenous waste product produced by mammals. When fish break down excess amino acids, they excrete the nitrogenous waste product ammonia. And when birds and insects break down excess amino acids, they excrete the nitrogenous waste product, uric acid. So as we've seen, carbon dioxide and nitrogenous waste products are both excreted. Now another group of waste products which are excreted are bile pigments. Bile pigments are formed from haemoglobin. Red blood cells normally have a lifespan of around 120 days. At the end of their life, red blood cells are destroyed and the haemoglobin is converted to other molecules. These molecules are then removed from the bloodstream by the liver and excreted into bile. So scientists now call these bile pigments. Bile is stored in the gallbladder and is then released via the bile duct into the small intestine. The bile pigments then leave the body in feces and in fact the bile pigments give feces its colour. Now a key idea you need to understand is that the liver is extremely important in excretion. As we've seen, the liver plays a key role in the excretion of both nitrogenous waste products and bile pigments. So in the next video, we're going to look at the structure of the liver.